And we're back. Chapter 4. Let's head out. Let's try not to screw up too badly this time. Kid. I already know what he's got to say. Open the door. Somebody activated an alarm. That's new. Looks like these tunnels head toward Castle Clinton. I can't find them on the map, though. Alright, well, we'll just trank this guy, I guess. I think we got cops. Guys are oh, they found us. So that's two guys tranked. Go into the vents. Climb down. Turn off the light. I think if I hide in the vent here, the flamethrower guy can't see me. Quiet like a little mouse. It's a ref from later in the game. If we get there, you'll uh, you'll get it. I saw somebody. Maybe just a homeless guy. F off. Oh, so one thing that's fun to do, if you have the um, the microfibril muscle enhancement and you have an upgrade canister, you can move this crate. Actually, I think if you just have the first level of it, you can shove it, and that'll let you stay out of the camera's line of sight while doing whatever you like in the room here. Uh, camera's kind of annoying. My two key rings there. Alright, so I guess this time we will go up into the kiosk of Castle Clinton and grab some more experience points. Uh, there should be a button here, yeah. Button to open that. You're inside the kiosk of Castle Clinton. The bulk of the NSF troops must have gone through here to get underground. You a cop? You not co-agent. How does a little boy Another get mixed kid. up with the NSF? I just wanted to find some food, but they didn't have any. And then they started shooting at the police. Got some? Want this candy bar? You're cool. I am glad cool. I can help. Hey, I bet I can help you. Yeah. The soldiers have secret tunnels. They take boxes into the tunnel under the fort, but they never bring them back out. What kind of boxes? Steel. Big ones. Oh great, NSF agent. Check that out. Good, excellent. 
That's him. Uh, I'm not sure if that actually triggered the whole fight at Castle Clinton, but I hope not. Excellent, though. This is really a pro run-through. Anyway, so that was Castle Clinton. Uh, if you go in the front way, you know, you'll have to kill all the troops. Those bodies, all there is is some lousy pistol ammo. Alright, back out the front. We'll meet Anna. You are not afraid to kill. I oh. am pleased. The last thing I would expect from the brother of Paul. Note that this happened just because I triggered the guards at the castle, not because I actually shot them or anything like that. Oh well, so we'll get a little different line of dialogue a bit later, but JC's hands are clean. I'm learning as I go. You just passed... I'm no. Alright, so we've seen that before. Uh, but we can check this out. Alright, so over to the subway station where there's that little shootout that we died at last time. I'm, uh, tell you what, I'm going to save before we turn to that shootout so that we don't have to watch this a third time. There we go, and now the shootout. Uh, these guys should handle the NSF, but if they don't, there'll be maybe one trooper left. Note that they now run out of bullets and are going to begin engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Good stuff. Alright, so now we see that, that was wise of me because got killed by a single headshot. Let's help out the uh, Unaco agents a bit here. Shank that one guy. There we go. Tranked out. Do not, do not knife these guys to death, please. Oh, it's not hostages in the subway station. All right, so that could have been a lot worse. Good. No casualties there. Um, another thing that we could open with the Gep gun. I think I'll open this one with the lockpick, though. Inside, a lockpick. And a multi-tool. We lost some of our men. Not that I can see. Yeah, I'll blow this one open, though. Medkit and prod charger. That's useful. In fact, I'm gonna pop a couple medkits now. Steam here, that's a back entrance to the subway station. Um, ammo. There's another back entrance around here somewhere. Oh, there. We'll check out this one. Uh, I believe you can take damage from that steam, so that's why we are going around this way. The NSF terrorists in the subway have threatened to blow up the platform. Watch for movie dreams. Oh, okay, they spotted me. 
Sleeping. I got it. Alright, I just need to find a, um, a grate that I can open. Something's funny about that guy. Note that the uh, terrorists decided not to kill the hostages. The only time that the hostages die is if you trigger the uh, the tripwires that are linked to some explosive crates. So we won't be doing that. The guy vanished. I think we're safe. I see a glint of light off to there, so we're heading towards it. All right, yes. Uh -oh. Throwing a gas grenade here. Uh, probably should use my. Damn it, where's my hazmat suit? What do I do? I'm with you, Natko. As soon as I open the train doors, I need you to be ready to run on board. Alright, and that's everyone there. That's him. He's a cop. Note that there are a couple of terrorists up there that I could go around and attempt to subdue and do all that stuff with, but don't super care to, not really in my mission objectives. So I'll just get rid of that, and that, and that, all these lethal weapons. I don't need that knife either. Well, I, be I might as well keep the knife. It'll never stop. Um... Watch out! Get on the train. Good work. The hostages will be all right. Now take the train to Hell's Kitchen and report to your brother. Mission complete. Let's check our goals. Yep, just come to Paul. So we'll get on the train. I'll be okay. Thanks. You saved my life. They're shooting. Why do they keep shooting? And so now we are in Hell's Kitchen. Paul will be coming down those stairs as we approach them and giving us our next couple of mission objectives, but that will be in Chapter 5. Thank you for watching.